after his wife. Few of us are happily married, but this is ridiculous. Ma che succede? Andiamo o non andiamo? my hair. I just know it. Don't worry about your hair. Now, don't tell me about all those girls, eh? Dr. Farquhar is interested in Fred's sex life because he gets none of his own. Having met his wife, you can understand why. Who said anything about girls? I did. Just now. Didn't you hear me? What's the matter? Are you losing your hearing, too? Too? Then I am losing my hair. Even I, I speak. But so long as these two hands, God bless them, keep their skill, you'll have a little something left to come. This clown really believes he's a scalp therapist. The sad thing is, his patients believe it too. I just couldn't stand being bored. Huh? Who could? It's disgusting. All that empty space gleaming up at everybody like an undiapered baby. Oh, it's obscene. No more so than your dream about being shipwrecked on that desert island. Just you and that male gorilla. No <laughs> pain threshold, eh? You must have been pretty scared of that gorilla. Terrified. Perfectly normal. Well, the hell he was. He fell in love with me. I love you. My bad. Oh, masculine protest, eh? Then why can't you run from those girls? It's not the same thing. You're right. You're right. You're right. I can't say no. My, my darling wife, for example. She told me you're criminally unfaithful. My mistress, Ornella. With whom you had your way, as the old books put it. And some of those old books put it rather well. I bet you underlined all the hot passages, you sex cloth. Like a disease. You've done this wild, you pussycat. What? Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. I hate to tell you about Gwendolyn. What hate? It's the least you can do while I stand here trying to save your morally exhausted hair. I am most grateful. As well you should be. Without me, you'd be a melon with eyes. Now tell me about this. Gwen. I couldn't say no to Gwen. She was cold, unattainable, the absolute end. Wow, a real pageant. Go. We were alone together. By accident. Gwen. I don't care if I am your wife's sister. It's more erotic this way. Right. If it happens, it happens, Pussycat. Let nature take its course. Right. I dig nature. Right. It's beautiful. I can Start digging. My time's up. But time! Well, but what is it? Time when scout wise a scientific breakthrough is imminent. Easy now. Easy, Victor Vicarious. You interested my scout, my women? Oh, don't give me that holier-than-thou attitude, Clyde. If just once I treated your rapidly vanishing hair without checking on the distaff action, you'd choke with frustration. You did reliving it. That's how sick you are. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No! Yes! 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 these unmanly tears immediately, or I shall be forced to lock you in the little dark room. Ah! Now, come for your own good. Tell? You've got...
dispatch on a scout. It all started at the Battle of the Bulge. The Battle of the Bulge? A lady is reducing salon. Oh, they take men on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you went on Friday. Well, I uh, am normal. That was a good one. Well, uh, oh. one does one's best. One got one fired from one's job. Terribly sorry. Look, it wasn't my fault. I didn't know those women were going to react like that. Promise to make it up to one in a big way. I'll be. Modesty prevents one from saying. Does one look far? Near. Good. With one's mom. Bad. Look, maybe we can save it for another night. Don't let's lose one's head. One's losing one's mood. I'll come up with something. Fernando. 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 Fernando! Now, did I wake you? <laughs> really? You're right, you know. Quarter to five on the button. But fever? A hundred and four. Listen, Fernando. Make sure you get plenty of aspirin and hot juices. Fernando, I need a favor. Would you mind going to an all-night movie for a couple of hours and letting me use your place? Fernando? Fernando, pro pro Fernando pronto! Pronto, Fernando! Fernando, pronto! You were disconnected. That usually happens when the other party hangs up. Look, look, it's late. I'm tired. I want to go home. Go home? But we haven't even... We haven't. Well, let's say we have. I'll back you up if you want to brag to your friends. You got me all wrong. I'm a gentleman. I would never... And you'll tell me the details about the dream you're going to have tonight about the gorilla. I am not going to dream about that gorilla. Oh, the gorilla. He's closing on me. He's gaining on me. The gorilla. The gorilla. Oh. 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 A damn gorilla. A gorilla? Huh? You almost caught me this time, and it's all that... that Dr. Farquhar's fault. A gorilla, Fred. A gorilla. A big, hairy, horny, crazy, in love gorilla. I'm losing my hair. I. <sighs> Good night, Milton. I'm Millie. Who's Milton? What? 
Milton? Who's Milton? I don't know any Milton. Bono Naughty, talk about it in the morning, please. Bono Naughty. That's it? What's it? Gorilla's name. Milton. <laughs> is a hell of a distance from in love. True, but they're still young. They still have illusions. Illusions? Romantic. Are there any other kind? Those, my dear, are deep. Be kind, Fred. They've got to have something. They don't have children. Neither do we. We don't snivel about it, do we? Speak for yourself. Very well, I will. What this girl should do is find something to occupy her time. Charity work. Needle points, rolling bandages for the Great War. What Great War? Any Great War. Tell her to keep busy. The devil makes work for idle hands. Exactly. Affairs. I, I... I told her this. It can be dangerous. On the other hand, how is she going to find Mr. Wright if... Mr. Wright? God, how old-fashioned. It's only old-fashioned if she doesn't find him. And she's not getting any young girl. And how is she going to find him if... She doesn't go looking. Looking. Hmm. Looking? Oh, well, that's certainly not old fashioned, is it? No. But if she does find Mr. Wright. It's everything, isn't it, Fred? Mm. Well, of course it is, old girl, but... Well, I thought... You said she was married. She is. But it didn't take... Uh, like a weak vaccination. You seem awfully concerned about her, but not a moment's thought about him. Oh, Fred, how unfair. To her, she worries about him all the time, feels guilty... Guilty. About looking for somebody else. Could he manage to get along without her? I mean, he's never well sort of grown up. By choice. By choice. Tell her not to worry. For him, the world is full of girls, the safety of numbers. Where he doesn't have to commit himself. Make a decision or even change his dialogue. Just change girls. You're making it sound like a play. Why don't you write it, Fred? A new idea for a comedy. Oh, no, no, no. It's very dramatic. If I dream it tonight, I'll give it to the gorilla. The gorilla? Oh, yes. He can certainly write a better play than I can. Now, please, let us end this interminable conversation, which seems to be hitting closer and closer to home. I meant it to. I know. That's why I want it to end. <laughs> the gorilla could certainly write a better play than I can. Why? 
Why, you ask? I didn't, exactly. Because with a bunch of bananas in the warm cage, he's got it made. He's not overdrawn at the bank as I am. Next time you get a tax attorney, get one who's been to college. Oh, 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 Millie. Oh, oh, Millie. Oh, 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 oh. Millie, Millie, I'm burning. Please. Quick. Please. Oh, oh. Butter. Butter, butter for what? My, my bad lord is scorching. You're talking about butter. Butter Please. for a burn. It's a known oh. fact. That's not where I got burned. <laughs> That beacon of skin really be... Golly, goodness, it is. Dr. Farquhar. How dare you come in here when I'm new? Besides, I'm giving hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy to whom? To me, you marching moron. I'm just as sick as anybody else. You have a victim waiting. Be patient and get out of here or I'll break every bone in your head. Don't threaten me, you pontifical quack. I have hated you since the moment I married What? Give her a kiss for me. Lei fuma molto troppo, mio amore, tavola per settanta. Per favore, da quanto tempo soffre di questo dolore? Dove si trova una drugstore? Passi di nuovo. Happy birthday, Fernando. Felice Contaiano. Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Mostly, they're luminous. You wouldn't marry me even if I were carrying your child. Your mouth, too. Fascinating. You've lost me. Goodbye forever. I love you. Don't you want to give your baby a name? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. I've just decided to think positive thoughts and not be pregnant. I love you too. 
judge a value like yours. Priceless? Really? Really? Astronomical. <laughs> the Mona Lisa, perhaps. Oh. Then I'm not priceless. The Mona Lisa has a price. Actually, you've insulted me. You've made me feel like that cool girl from the Piazza de Spagna. Fine. And I'm your best customer who has just given you the Mona Lisa. I don't want to be known as the girl who went to bed with a man who was stupid enough to give away the Mona Lisa. Another was right. I should have been a priest. Thank you. 
sleep well, madame, he fell asleep immediately after. After what? He closed his eyes. Merci, Flavia. I appreciate your loyalty. Excusez-moi, madame. Does monsieur talk in his sleep sometimes? Sometimes? All the time. That's how I get my information. One o'clock in Rome means siesta. Everybody goes to bed. The square ones even sleep. Now, where were you all week, Federico? Home. Married men always have a perfect alibi. They were home. What can you do there you can't do here? Mia Cara, call it habit, superstition, or what you will, but I can only work in my own chair, at my own desk, in my own study. Your own desk, your own chair, your own study. <laughs> by our own decorator. I'm coming back for you. Oh, when Mr. Wright comes looking for me, I hope he looks like that. First time in my life, I am in love. There's no need to say that, Max. Max? Max or Frank or whatever. The names are interchangeable. Like the words for the first time, I'm in love. It's not necessary to say that. But what else can I say? You might say I'm pretty. Oh, yes, you are fantastic. Good. Um, you might say... You're glad I'm here? Glad? I am the hell. That will do fine. Thank you. And now, if you want to seduce me, go right ahead. Just that I don't want to be Max or... Whatever. Yeah. I am Franco myself. I'll try harder.
certainly know how to spoil a Roman afternoon. Forgive me, Franco. Oh, Max. Next time, a burning cross. Something you did. Something I didn't. Where's Mrs. Dobbs? Oh. Oh, Mr. Dobbs. Now, Dobbs. remember, I haven't left yes, the house. house. Exactly. My niece is here. This afternoon, I am not interviewing nieces. This afternoon, I am working on plays. Now hear this. You are working for me, not vice versa. One more such outburst and I trade you in for a quill pen. Right? Angelica. I'm an orphan. I told her. I work in regular hours. I told Nights, her. Weekends. Weekends. I told That's her. That's the salary. I think. Five hundred. Oh, you're her. obviously eminently qualified. Merci, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. We are very, very grateful. You uh, do type of it, don't you? Ninety words a minute. Shorthand? One hundred and eighty. And, um, she's Angelica. Mm. Give me all the sorry details you've seen. Don't be so diffident. I just met her and she's perfect. Perfect? Perfect for what? My secretary, I... Even though she's a teenager, she's... Teen? Teen? How teen? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, something when I get to your car. Eighteen. But she types ninety words a minute and her shorthand is... As if you cared. A hundred and eighty. What you really want, you hypocrite, is... Thirty-eight, twenty-two, thirty-five. God bless. Bardot, eh? Bardot, eh? This girl happens to be called Angelica. Molto difficile, signore. If you could stimulate my memory. Do you take down that card? Con piacere. Ah, it comes to me. You must mean Angelica St. Pierre. Signor Dove! Aha! You are right. Bardot. I wasn't expecting you. So I gather. I am. Um... I just came by to tell you, you are tired. Do you mean I'm your secretary? As of right now, we're going to Castelli. Ah, uh, hi, Castelli! <laughs> Work on a play. That's exactly what I had planned, but with Dr. Fortune. Look, who is this doctor? My ex-boyfriend. Well, how I saw you last year, last month, last week. Last night. We woke up about you, he's quite jealous. Ha-ha! Jealous? Well, I mean, um... I mean, he hardly knows me, and um, neither do you in the uh, biblical sense. No, and I told him you are a perfect gentleman, oh, thank charming, you. attentive, oh. considerate, handsome, also quite dashing. Dashing? Definitely dashing. Oh, it's absurd. I mean, I do have a certain flair, but uh, <laughs> dashing, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Neither would I. I'm not supposed to be dashing to you. You said you were going to Castelli with Dr. Ponte, yes? Yes. They're making a movie near there that directed my ex-boyfriend. You ex around very good, don't you? He wasn't jealous, the director? Oh, no. This time I was. My mother got him. Can I start being your secretary on Monday? 
No. Negative, Angelic. I'm sorry. We just, we just couldn't work it out. Charles. Momento. Si. Dr. Forty is due at four. I have three minutes, too. If he doesn't show up at four sharp. Now you're being reasonable. That's Dr. Ponty. The, the one with the helmet. What is this doctor specializing, anyway? The entire area below the ankle. Huh, foot doctor. Foot doctor? Chiropodist. It's very important. Without it, you fall forward. Oh, I can see that. Forty, I have to go out of town. I'll get in touch with him later. Out of town, touch him later. Oh, he's sweet. Adamo. Four o'clock. Dr. Ponte's not here. Slip out the back, meet you down the lock. <laughs> I come to pick up Signorina St. Pierre. Doctor, speaking in your terms, you missed her by a foot. Ho, ho, ho. Very droll. Will there be anything else? You should have tried me 20 years ago. 30. Unfortunately, my business is with Mr. Dobbs. He, he's um, away for the weekend. Damn. I sent him a telegram from California three days ago, but, well, La Bella Italia. We just arrived together. You're? Charles Harrison, yes. But you're Grant Granite. Oh, Grant Granite's my screen name. I thought everybody knew. You see, as Charlie Harrison, I'm Grant Granite's director and producer. The two names. Well, it seems uh, a little more modest that way, don't you think? No. I feel it makes for a certain mystery, don't you? No. Um, what do you want to see my husband about? I hand him a check for $150,000. That might touch a nerve. Grand granite. Thank you, my dear. When we find Fred and get our hands on that $150,000, Am I going to be excited about meeting you? Come. For $150,000, where are you? Think, think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. He left her last week. Perhaps. She went back to Israel. Couldn't stand Italian food. I'll give it a try, but he couldn't be that obvious, could he? And you just answered my question. Hotel Albergo, uh, Signorina St. Pierre, per favore. Already gone? 
Senor Dobbs told me to phone him there. <coughs> Castelli, I see. Grazie. What kind of a girl? Athletic. If I were his mistress, this never could have happened. If I were his wife, he wouldn't require a mistress. Just a meaningless little thing, Federica, picked up for me. Meaningless is just the word. It's my old one. Grand Granite, am I excited? Thank you, my dear. About that hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh. <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, invariably, Pussy. I am so glad. It means you have a deep social conscience. Oh, it does? It's a person's duty to promote love in this world. What with the red Chinese and all this trouble, don't you agree? Oh, definitely. Incidentally, with all this vibration, it's only sensible to have a pelvic examination. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Butter, eh? Butter. <laughs> Beautiful. These jet setters, they see one Fellini flick and they go fruitcake. Butter, eh? Butter. <laughs> oh, that Fred C. Dobbs must be a lot sicker than I thought. Oh, I hope I'm not being disloyal to him. Disloyal? Try, traitor. You're my beautiful little spy. What about your wife? To hell with her. Let her get her own spies. Oh, by the way, put these hairs back on his pillow. They are getting awfully worn out. You promise you'll get rid of your wife. Oh, I will. I will. This time I have a foolproof plan. <laughs> I hope it's better than the last time. The tiger must have cost you plenty. I still don't know what went wrong. I threw her in the cage, I locked her in, and then she killed the tiger. Poor oh, darling, you do try. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pronto? Ah, Signor Fernando. Cut it short, the music has started. No, she's mm -hmm. gone for the weekend. madam oh. oh franco i did not recognize mm. your voice more dolce vita eh <laughs> oh no she will be back before monday castelli what are you doing for the weekend mm. Mm. <sighs> uh. so i'll put a stop to this myself and lots of butter. Here? We haven't seen the Senor Dobbs since last summer. Last summer? Who? Me. Excuse me. Well, we tried. However... Senor Dobbs a telephone. They made the reservation for two for tonight. Good. When he arrives, tell him some friends are waiting in the bar. I'll try to remember. 
I remember. Raj Tiger ought to meet this guy. I'm gonna whop her and drop her. Belly stomp her. You're going to what? Maybe she will. You was having to do with my man Franco. This I would like to hear. Grand, Granny. Oh, thank you, my dear. Sit down and have a drink. This may turn into a fun night after all. Bye, darling. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Going to Castelli? Or any place else. You're so old. Because I'm dashing. You are. You are. Debonair, perhaps, but dashing. Dashing. Dashing you are. <laughs> Dashing, well, I really do prefer the word debonair, but I suppose if, if you say I'm dashing, well... Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. The pleasure was all mine. So I'd see. Under the stars, all alone. Alone. Just the two of us. Mrs. Dobbs, you're so beautiful. And wicked. Tell me that beast of a husband drove you to it. Tell me. Yes, but in a Ferrari. When we find him, I'll fix him for you good. I know a little about surgery. Don't you dare. Oh, <laughs> you're so exciting when you're angry. <laughs> I... Thoughtful strategy is required. Discretion. Sensitivity. Subtlety. Both ladies are equally beautiful. Desirable. Exquisite. Available? Uh, one hopes. Come in, darling. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> You expecting Charlie Harrison? He is a movie star. Or Franco? At least, it's getting late. <laughs> You're honest. Yes. And Fred isn't. Running away with Angelica. He's an idiot. No, we're the idiots trying to change him. He is what he is. That's why I married him. That's why you want him. Are you always so blunt? Always. I know Fred better than you do. That's why I'm still his wife. No offense. The wife he's been lying to all this time. A man only lies to a woman if he wants to keep hold of her. He lies to me. He lies to me all the time. Then he loves me too. Of course he does. Sometimes I worry if he loves me. I mean, really. He loves you deeply, devotedly. I'm his wife, I should know. He loves you with every atom of his being. Are we talking about Fred? Yes. He loves you. So, 
Perhaps we might decide by... Uh, I feel I'm being crude. You probably are, but go ahead anyway. By flipping a coin. You're right. You are crude. Heads. Pardon? As a guest in your country, I have the right of first call. Oh, heads. I knew you couldn't turn me down, Signora Dobbs. Darling. <laughs> Such rough legs, dearest. I'll rub lotion on them. Your arms could do with a bit of a shave, too. Two out of three. <laughs> okay, okay. Seven out of ten. All right, all right. Seventeen out of twenty-one. smoke this at the UN, there'd be no more wars. Darling, it's two o'clock. Please, I'm still recovering from one o'clock. This is Cecily B. DeMille, our movie director. Those guys on their knees are his assistants. Non posso dormire! Giriamo fra 15 minuti! When he gives an order in Italian, they translate into three languages, sort of walking subtitles. That keeps it fair. Nobody understands. I can't sleep, therefore we will shoot in 15 minutes! The, uh... The ex-boyfriend? Yes, Cecil B. DeMille. Cecil B. Wasn't there a great director by that name? Of course. That's where he got it. Oh, how stupid of me. Oh, my God. Ach, meine Liebe. I'm a show. Oh, my dear. Cecil? Perché questo uomo non è truccato? Why isn't this man in makeup? Confidenza, ti devo dire. Mi dispiace che ci siamo lasciati. Und uns gesagt, es tut mir leid, dass es zwischen uns aus ist. Franchement, je regrette de t'avoir quitté. Privately, my dear, I'm sorry we broke up. Stay away from my secretary, you maniac. Come osi parlare? Sei solo un generico. Sprechen Sie nicht mehr, Sie sind ein Statist. Taisez-vous, vous êtes un figurant. Don't speak again, you are an extra. I don't even think the gorilla would find me dashing. Well, I won the toss. What are you really looking for, Millie? Mr. Wright, and when I'm sure it's him, it's he and me into the sunset. Fade out. Uh, Dobbs. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> This is the first time that we've ever left the children alone. 
sooner or later, they'll have to face life without us. In this case, sooner. They're so innocent, so young. True. Eva's only 20 and little Adolf is only 15. Exactly. I feel uneasy about the way you lock them into their own rooms. We must be firm. They're too big to sleep together any longer. Oh, I know, but my little Adolf. I mean, how is he going to feed himself if he's locked in? Just like usual, Eva will break down the doors, carry him downstairs, strap him to his high chair and force feed him, just like you do. It's different. I'm his mother. I just hope I'm his father. So do I. in a day, but these spaghetti westerns are. Azione! Action! Dog spending the night out of doors. Didn't you tell me that he was even allergic to artificial flowers? Angelica's very persuasive when she makes up her body. I was going to say mind, but you're probably right. Charlie Harrison. Hi. It's a lot like Grant Granite to me. Thank you, my dear. Dobbs, I'm an admirer of your work, personal as well as professional. 
I'd like to buy the screen rights to your new play. Now then, this may seem a little hard-hearted, but I have a lot to gain from you and Millie here fighting. Sorry to disappoint you, but we're not going to fight. Hello? Try this for size. How are you going to explain your, uh, secretary? Uh, and all this to Millie. We never fight. Exactly, and not that it's any of your business, but I was going to tell her the truth. The truth? Hmm. You'd no longer lie to me? You mean you want me to lie to you? Of course. Then I'd know you still cared. Perfect, perfect. I've got a nasty feeling this is it. Fred C. Dobbs, hear me good. I'm going to Rome, and when you get back, I... won't be there. Get rid of that blonde. How does she know I'm a blonde? Where did I go wrong? You gland! I'd stop smoking if I was you. It's a nightmare. I'll wake up, my clothes will be on, and it will all go away.
away. What the hell do you oh. think this is, a library? No sleeping here. Oh, no sleeping at here, no sleeping at home. Ah, nightmares again, eh? What again? Still, that damned gorilla. Must you forever trouble me with your sleazy fantasies? We were talking about that fateful weekend at Castelli. Oh, Castelli. You know that happened almost a year ago? But it seems like yesterday. Whatever became of all those loonies, hmm? Oh, my ex-wife married Grand Granite. she never acted before, so she became the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> Happened to that motorcycle hick? Hester? She went home and was elected governor of Alabama. I solemnly swear to uphold the constitution of this here state. Yeah. Yeah. And your ex-mistress, what was her name? Ornella uh, Piacentini. Ah. She decided to lead a more quiet life. And so did Frank. And what about that uh, little chiropodist, Dr. Ponte? Doing three to five. Got caught treating an old sea captain for athlete's foot. So, on a wooden leg. Doctor! She's uh, still with me, just like you. Oh, but I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm destroying your whole lousy fleet! No more treatments, no more pain. Yeah. It's you.
Bye-bye. 